thing. Are the Corbynistas and Momentum now largely in control of the Labour Party? Yes, about largely, almost completely. And it's control. theirs for the foreseeable future? Yes, I can't see how it will change. So some very good people left the Labour Party. No one knows their names, but six people I knew very well uh, have left really good people. Um, Are there any good options for Labour Social Democrats, like yourself? N n no, not so far as I can see, in the sense that, unlike militant in the early 80s, the hard left have captured the castle. They've got the NEC, they've got the general secretary's position, they've got... Uh, the leadership? Yeah, it's just the Parliamentary Labour Party and there'll be no question whatsoever, they'll be working on them. They carried a little rule change this week. Dan Jarvis was going to stand as mm -hmm. the mayor for the Sheffield Greater Area. The, the South made, Yorkshire and, Yeah, area. made the very reasonable point. I will stay as an MP because if you're an MP and you take a ministerial job, that's another huge job. But it also gives me the chance to speak in Parliament on behalf of my area, and I'll do it. I won't charge. I won't uh, take a, a salary for doing the job. They carried an NEC rule change this week, which looks distinctly as if it's just simply to stop Dan Jarvis. Of course, because he's considered to be persona non grata. If the Lib Dems weren't so ineffective, some in the Labour Party would have an alternative. I think that's a completely fair comment. <laughs> um, and I don't know what's happened to the Lib Dems, really. They just seem to be sort of self-immolating um, in a sort of anti-Brexit campaign, which isn't offering much hope at the moment to the homeless voters of the centre and centre-left, and even on the centre-right, you know, mm -hmm. who are disturbed by and Brexit. Particularly the Remainers on the centre. Yeah, the ab absolutely. I think there's a the lot Tory of disenfranchised party. voters at the moment, and the Lib Dems don't seem to be offering them an attractive home. What did you make of Alan's remarks at, at the beginning of the programme? Uh, he, he, he more or less took the words out of my mouth. Uh, I, I think Theresa May has had two good weeks. Because um, you didn't think she would survive the... No, I was, I, was, I was with Alan. I didn't think she'd make it to the Tory party conference. But I, I was also struck, there, there was a remark last week about, uh, by Nadine Doris about some very disobliging remarks she made about Cameron and Osborne. And it reminded me that Cameron and Osborne were two characters who, who, who create a lot of ructions with the public. See, I don't think Theresa May is particularly up to the job, but she doesn't create the antipathy that her predecessor and George Osborne created. And Is that partly a class thing? Yes, I think it is partly a class thing. Um, and what political enemies can make out of that class mm. thing. I mean, it's more or less a crime against humanity to be an Etonian in, mm. you know, in the present <laughs> political setup. And your um, point is? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Cameron and Osborne were probably better at winning elections. Uh, I should point she, out Mr. Osborne was not is. at Eton. Um, no, it was at some uh, And my point is that I think the entire, that I think the next election is not about who's leader of the Conservative Party. There are lots of Conservatives who say if we could just change the leader, we'd win the next election. That is not my view. My view is that the next election is entirely about the leader of the Labour Party and whether he is electable as our Prime Minister. Now, the problem with this is that you would need a Tory leader who was able throughout the campaign to take the fire to Corbyn to say you are unsuitable to be our Prime Minister for all sorts of reasons. And from her showing in the last election, she's not the woman capable of doing that. Which is why she may not still Which get to fight the next election. The logic, election. yes. We shall have to leave it there. Miranda, good to Thank see you. you again. Go and get the fish on. We'll have yeah. some fish and chips <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> we'll have to send out, of course. <laughs>